Hey you guys, it's me Spongebob number one fan thousand three here. And right now I'm going to be making part three of my Christmas haul. So yep, let's get started. Okay, so right here is this really really super cool like Spongebob vinyl figure or something. It's called a Surfing Dreams Spongebob vinyl figure. And um yeah, it says, oh geez, on the back that he's actually a Nick Box exclusive. So I think that's actually really, really super cool. So yeah, obviously he's called the Surf and Dream SpongeBob and he's holding a little surfboard here. And he has on his swimming trunks. And it looks like he's on a little stand, which I actually think is kind of cute. And yeah, he looks really, really awesome. And yeah, this is actually Gula Goon right here. Like, the background of the box is glue going. And he's made for children ages 4 years old and up. And, yeah, all sides is just the Goo Lagoon place with the umbrellas. And, yeah, there's the top. And the bottom. And the back again. And, yeah, that's actually really super cool. And he was made in 2020, so he's completely brand new. Okay, so that's all for the Surf and Dream Spongebob vinyl figure. So, up next is this really super beautiful Spongebob as Mermaid Man figure. And, oh my gosh, this little guy right here is the thing that I wanted out of all of the toys that I got this Christmas. I mean, oh my gosh, he is beautiful. And he's actually a rare toy, so that is a big plus there. So, um, yeah, he actually talks, so yeah, you can press his little M on his belt, and you can hear him talk. Here. Listen to this. So cool. Oh, man, his voice is so awesome! But, yeah, um, yeah, he's a really, really, really rare toy, and, yeah, he's really, really awesome. I love him so much. And, yeah, there's Mermaid Man right there. The Mermaid Man. And then there's a little Spongebob toy and obviously wacky phrases and sound effects. And he's actually from the episode Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3, I think? I don't know. Based off of episode 31. I don't know. It says something on the back. Yeah, the sides have Spongebob dressed up as Mermaid Man. And the top just has the Spongebob as Mermaid Man thing. And yeah, the, the bottom just tells you what battery he, he takes and whatnot. And... Yeah, here's the back. So, yep, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3 is what episode this little guy is based off of. Yeah, there's like a little Q&A down here. And, um, yeah, you can collect them all, which there's Sandy, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs with Plankton. So, yeah, and maybe in the future I'll get Patrick as Barnacle Boy to go with this little Spongebob. He looks so awesome! <laughs> and, um... Yeah, I love him so, so much. And as I said, he's actually a really, really rare toy. So, I think that's a big plus. I love him so much. Holy I don't know if you could hear him talk or not, since he's in the box here and you can barely even hear him. But yeah, he's really cute. Okay? So, that's all for this beautiful Spongebob as Mermaid Man figure, which I love him so much. And he's rare. So, up next is... This really super cool SpongeBob SquarePants Surprise Ink Game Book. So it actually comes with a pen inside, which I don't know where it is, but uh, yeah, I don't know where it could be. But but um, yeah, I like how that like this is kind of like a, a clipboard kind of thing. But yeah, there's two books in here, I think. Um, yeah, it's made for children ages 6 years old and up. And yeah, there's a little Spongebob right there on the little clipboard right here. I guess. Whatever the heck it is. And yeah, there's Gary, there's Spongebob. And yeah, it comes with a pen and it says one, ho one hundreds of images, or hundreds of images, <laughs> magically appear. <laughs> That's so funny. I like this box. It's really cool. And here's the back side. Um, yeah, like, you can do, like, a lot of fun things in here, like, there's some, like, mazes and whatnot, I guess, um, and some tic-tac-toe stuff, and, uh, like, scatter, I guess, um, yeah, it's really, really cool, this was actually made in the year 2002, so, 
I completely doubt that the marker even works in here, but I'll have to test that out sometime. Okay, so that's all for this awesome SpongeBob Surprise Ink game book. So up next is the Beyond Bikini Bottom Mix and Match book. And yeah, I actually got a SpongeBob Mix and Match book for Christmas last year, but that one's a lot bigger. And yeah, this one right here is actually really small, but it's really, really cute. So yeah, there's SpongeBob and Gary right here. And yeah, here's the spine really quick. Yeah, there's a sticker right there that I need to get rid of later. And then here's the back. Oh, Sonali Fry. It's by Sonali Fry and illustrated by Vince DePorter. It's cool. And here's another sticker that I need to get rid of. And um, this baby was made in, let's see, 2005. All right. And, yeah, that's the exact senior that this little guy right here was made. Okay, just ignore that. Alright. So, yeah, it's really super cool. Yeah, there's, like, a lot of cool mix and match funness in here, as you can see. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do a review on this bookie sometime. So, yeah, that's all for Beyond Bikini Bottom Mix and Match. So, up next is... These three level 2 SpongeBob books! And, yeah, right here is Show Me the Bunny right here. This one's really, really cute. And, yeah, it's called Show Me the Bunny. It's just a little story about Easter and stuff. And it comes with some stickers inside. And then the big Halloween scare. Obviously, it's a Halloween theme book. Um, yeah, it's really, like, really cute. Oh, man, it was written by Heather Martinez. Yeah, you know me, guys. I love Heather Martinez. <laughs> and then Trouble at the Krusty Krab, which is from the SpongeBob SquarePants movie from 2004. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Man, his children and wife look so goofy. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's all for these, um, three step two SpongeBob books. So, up next is. The Eye of the Fry Cook, a story about getting glasses. Yeah, my mom actually wears glasses. My brother sometimes wears glasses. I'm probably going to be getting glasses soon. But anyways, um, yeah, this is like a little story about getting glasses and stuff. And yeah, SpongeBob is like a chef here. And yeah, here's his spine. And here's the back. So yeah, SpongeBob's vision actually goes a little bit blurry, so he gets glasses. Hmm. Yeah, can I just tell you something? Okay, so, like, whenever, like, I have to, like, look at something that's far away, like, I can barely even see it, so that's probably why I'm gonna be getting glasses soon. And yeah, my 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 mom, I think, is actually partially blind. My brother has a lazy eye, so, so that's why all of us need glasses here. So, yeah, my dad actually had glasses as well. So, but yeah, I'll be getting glasses soon. So... Yep, I, I, I hope you guys like this awesome Spongebob book, The Eye of the Fray Cook. So, up next is... Spongebob to the Rescue! And yep, this is actually from The Big Green Help from Nickelodeon. And I actually have another book that's from The Big Green Help. It's called Spongebob Goes Green. Um, which you can kind of see it back here. So, yeah, if you haven't seen my review on that book, go check it out. Alright, so yeah, this is actually sort of based on the episode called Sentimental Sponge, I believe. And yeah, this is actually a trashy tale about recycling. Yeah, Spongebob Goes Green will just teach you like how to keep the earth green or something. And yeah, this right here just teaches you how to recycle things. Okay, and here's the spine. And the back, so yeah, right there's a frog again, and this mosquito looking thing. And, um, yeah, there are two other books right here that you can get, which there's a Dora one, and there's a Spongebob one, which I actually have that Spongebob one. Okay, so... Yeah, and there's some, like, helpful tips. Looks like what they did for Spongebob Goes Green. So... Yeah, it's almost sort of like Sentimental Sponge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's all for Spongebob to the rescue. So, <clears throat> so up next is Spongebob's Secret Valentine, 
And yeah, Valentine's Day is actually in about two months. So yeah, I really like Valentine's Day. So yeah, it's really cute. Oh yeah, there's Sandy and SpongeBob on the front. And here's the spine and the back. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and this book is also illustrated by Heather Martinez. You can tell because how cute SpongeBob looks there. Um, yeah. So it's just a little cute Valentine's Day story here. Um. Wait, what? <laughs> Man, SpongeBob looks so funny in that picture. <laughs> okay. But yeah, oh jeez. But yeah, that's all for SpongeBob's Secret Valentine. So up next is SpongeBob's Easter Parade. And yep, I don't know why, but I got two books unexpectedly. But um, <laughs> but yeah, they're both obviously the exact same thing. So yeah, there's SpongeBob and Patrick on a little Easter Parade float. Here's the spine and the back. The exact same thing for this. It's fine. Back. Yeah. So. It's just another cute little Easter story. Almost like, show me the bunny. But yeah, so. Alright, so that's all for these two Spongebob Easter Parade books. <clears throat> so up next is... Spongebob Ripped Pants! <laughs> Let me try that again. SpongeBob ripped pants, and yep, I love the ripped pants episode. Like, I just can't get over how funny it is. Like, <clears throat> excuse me, how SpongeBob was like trying to lift up this barbel thing made out of marshmallows on a stick, and he accidentally ripped his pants. <laughs> I just thought it was so funny. And yeah, you can actually do this, and you can see his little tiny butt, his little underwear. See? That's so cute. But, um, yeah, you can obviously close his pants back up. There we go. And, yeah, Spongebob is sort of upside down. Yeah, it's really, really funny. And here's the spine, which is... Eh. And here's the back. Hmm, i never seen that before. That looks really cute. Um, yeah. So, this book comes with stickers in it, obviously. You can see right here. And yeah, it's just a little cute, simple story. This one's illustrated by Heather Martinez. These don't even look like her illustrations, to be honest. But, but oh man, look at how angry he looks right there. <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, man, the, the ripped pants part just cracks me up so bad. Like, oh my gosh, I mean, look at this. <laughs> His pants are just... Porn. Oh my gosh. Oh, my camera just... Yeah. Okay. So it's all for Spongebob ripped pants. And that's actually the last thing I'm going to be showing you guys in my Christmas haul part 3. I got a lot more books to show you. But I'll have to show you guys, you guys those babies later though. So yep, I hope you guys enjoyed part 3 of my Christmas haul. So goodbye everybody. Have a great day. And peace out. Wait. <laughs> R.I.P. Spongebob swimming trunks. Okay, goodbye! <laughs>